Hi friends in this video tutorial we are going to discuss how to import Excel sheet data into MySQL database in Code Igniter framework by using PHP Excel library. We have already discussed how to export MySQL data to Excel sheet in Code Igniter by using PHP Excel library. But now we have discussed how to import data from Excel sheet to MySQL database by using PHP Excel library in Code Igniter framework. PHP Excel Library PHP Class Library is a very easy to understand library for get data from Excel file and export data to Excel file by using PHP script. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database and in this we have our customer table with table column like Customer ID, Customer Name, Address, City, Postal Code and Country. We will import data into this table from Excel sheet. First we have to make database connection so we have to go to application slash config folder slash database dot php file. Under this file we have set host name set to local host, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After this we have go to config.php file and under this file we have set base URL of our code igniter application. Now we have go to autoload.php file and in dollar autoload libraries variable we have write database in session, so when we have execute code igniter framework then it will load database in session library. After this we have go to dollar autoload helper variable and here we have write URL in form. This code will load URL in form helper. Here we have already download PHP Excel library and put into this application slash libraries folder. Under this libraries folder we have created one excel.php file and under this file we have read class extends PHP Excel library class. Here we have create Excel class which extends property of PHP Excel library class. So by using this Excel class we will import Excel sheet data. Under this we have write public function with construct magic function, when object of this class has been created then it will execute this block of code. Under this also we have write parent class with construct magic function, here we have extend parent class construct function. So when object of this Excel has been created then it will execute PHP Excel construct magic function code. Now we have go to controller folder and under this we have already create Excel import controller. We will this controller for handle HTTP request. In modules folder we have also already created Excel import modal for handle database operation. And in views folder also we have already created Excel import.php. This is browser output file. First we have go to Excel import controller and under this we have write public function construct magic function. When we have called any method of this controller then first it will execute this block of code. Under this we have write parent construct magic function, here it will execute constructor method of parent class. Below this we have write dollar this with loader class object load with model method and under this we have write excel import model. This code will load excel import model. After this we have write dollar this with load object with library method and under this we have write excel. This code will load excel library. Below this we have write function index method. This is the main method of this controller. So when we have called this controller then this method has been executed. Under this method we have write dollar this with load with view method and under this import excel view file name. This code will load this view file when we have called index method. Now we have go to excel import view file and on this file we have already included bootstrap library style sheet link and javascript library link. Under this page first we define form with method is equal to post ID is equal to import form and encryption type is equal to multi-part form data for upload file.
Under this form we have define input type is equal to file name and ID is equal to file and accept attribute is equal to xls and xlsx extension. By this tag we can only select only this both extension file from our local computer. For submit form data so we have write input type is equal to submit with name and value is equal to import by click on this button we will import excel file data. Below this form we have define one division tag with attribute id is equal to customer data. Under this tag we will load customer table data in html table format. Now we have to move to jQuery code and first we have make load data function. This function will fetch latest customer data and display on web page. Under this we have write start write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to base url function with excel import controller fetch method. We have send request to this method. In second option we have write method and under this we have set post method. So we have used post method for send form data to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully. Under this function we have write division tag id customer data with html method and under this we have write data. This will display customer data on web page. Now we have go to excel import controller and under this we have make fetch method. This method will receive ajax request for fetch data from customer table. Under this method we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with excel import model with select method. For this we have go to excel import model and here we have make select method. Under this method we have write dollar this with database class object with order by method with table column customer id in descending order. This code will make sort data in descending order according value of customer id. Below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this with database class object with get method and under this we have write customer table. This get method will execute select query and store result in dollar query variable. Lastly we have write return statement with dollar query variable. This is the output of this function. Now we have go to excel import controller and here we have write dollar output variable is equal to total data with value get from dollar data with number rows method. It will return number of rows. After this we have define table with table column like customer name, address, city, postal code and country. Below this we have write for each loop under this we have write dollar data with result method as dollar row variable. This method will return result in array of object. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable in this variable we have append html code and in this in first column we have print customer name data get from dollar row customer name object. In second column we have write dollar row address object which print address data. In third column we have write dollar row city object which print city data. In fourth column we have write dollar row postal code object which print postal code data and in last column we have write dollar row country object which print country column data. So this way we have store all data and dollar output variable. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request. So we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. Now we have go to excel import view file and here we have called load data function which display latest customer data on web page. Here friends when we page has been loaded into browser then we can see total 10 customer records on web page in html table format and above data we can see one file tag with submit button. So for import excel file data we have go to view file and here we have write dollar form id import form with on method and under this we have write submit event. So when form has been submitted then this code has been executed. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. 
This method will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write Ajax request and under this we have write URL option set to base URL function with Excel import controller import method. We have send request to this method. In second option we have write method option and this option has been set to post. So here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and under this option we have write new form data object with this argument. This option will send data to server and key and value pair of form fields. In fourth option we have write content type set to false. Here content type used when sending data to the server. In fifth option we have write cache option set to false. This option for unable request pages to be cached. In sixth option we have write process data option set to false. This for send DOM document or non-processed data file so it is set to false. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function first we have write dollar with file tag id file with value method with blank value. This code will clear file selection tag. Below this we have called load data function. This function will display fresh data on web page from customer table. Now we have go to Excel import controller and under this we have create import method. This method will receive Ajax request. Under this method first we have write if statement in condition we have write is set function with dollar files file name variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar path variable is equal to dollar files file temporary name variable. Here we have store selected file temporary path in dollar path variable. Below this we have write dollar object variable is equal to php excel io factory class with load method and under this method we have write dollar path variable. This method will loads php excel from file get from dollar path variable using automatic php excel reader i reader resolution. After this we have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar object variable with get worksheet and iterate her method as dollar worksheet variable. By using this method we can get worksheet iterator which can be fetched by using dollar worksheet variable. Under this loop we have write dollar highest row variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get highest row method. This method will return highest worksheet row. After this we have write dollar highest column variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get highest column method. This method will return highest worksheet column. Now we have write for loop under this we have write dollar row variable is equal to 2. Dollar row variable value less than equal to dollar highest row variable and dollar row variable value increment by 1. Under this loop we have write dollar customer name variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get cell by column and row method with two argument. In first argument we have write zero column number and second argument we have write dollar row variable with get value method. Here this get cell by column and row method get cell at a specific coordinate by using numeric cell coordinates and by using get value method we can get value of cell and store in dollar customer name variable. Below this we have write dollar address variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get cell by column and row method with two argument. In first argument we have write one column number and second argument we have write dollar row variable with get value method. Here this get cell by column and row method get cell at a specific coordinate by using numeric cell coordinates and by using get value method we can get value of cell and store in dollar address variable. Below this we have write dollar city variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get cell by column and row method with two argument. In first argument we have write two column number and second argument we have write dollar row variable with get value method.
Here this get cell by column in row method get cell in a specific coordinate by using numeric cell coordinates and by using get value method we can get value of cell and store in dollar city variable. Now we have write dollar postal code variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get cell by column in row method with two argument. In first argument we have write three column number in second argument we have write dollar row variable with get value method. Here this get cell by column in row method get cell at a specific coordinate by using numeric cell coordinates and by using get value method we can get value of cell and store in dollar postal code variable. After this we have write dollar country variable is equal to dollar worksheet variable with get cell by column in row method with two argument. In first argument we have write four column number in second argument we have write dollar row variable with get value method. Here this get cell by column in row method get cell at a specific coordinate by using numeric cell coordinates and by using get value method we can get value of cell and store in dollar country variable. Below this we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key customer name with value get from dollar customer name variable. Address key value get from dollar address variable, city key value get from dollar city variable, postal code key value get from dollar postal code variable and country key value get from dollar country variable. This way we have store whole excel sheet data into this dollar data variable in array format. Now we have go to Excel import model and under this we have read insert method with dollar data argument. Under this we have read dollar this with database class object with insert batch method with two argument. In first argument we have read customer table name and in second argument we have read dollar data variable. By using this insert batch method we can insert multiple data and single query execution. Now we have go to Excel import controller and here we have write dollar this with Excel import model with insert method and under this we have write dollar data variable. This code will insert multiple data which we have store into dollar data variable in array format to MySQL customer table. Lastly we have write echo statement with data imported successfully. This message will display to user by using Ajax request. Now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refreshed browser and on web page we can see total 10 customer data and table format and above table we can see file tag with import button. So when we have click on file tag then in our local computer we can only see excel file only we cannot see other file because we have used html except attribute. So we have select excel sheet and click on import button. After click on import we can see data imported successfully on web page. In that selected Excel sheet there is file customer data has been stored and after importing of Excel sheet data we can see total 15 data on web page and table. So this way we can import Excel sheet data into MySQL table and code igniter framework by using PHP Excel library. If you have working on any enterprise level application and in that you have to enter large amount of data into MYSQL table then you have to make Excel sheet and follow this code for importing large amount of data into MYSQL table. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.